So now that we have introduced co-primes and primeness and prime factorization, we can actually dive into the most, let's say, complex algebraic con construct that we will look at. And those are fields. So a field is, again, a set with some elements, an addition and a multiplication operation. So now the difference between a field and a ring is that the field, the set, without the number zero, is actually an abelian group under multiplication as well. So difference between a ring and a field is that in a field the multiplication is also an abelian group except for the identity element under addition. So, yeah, every element has a multiplicative inverse. That's the difference. Uh, example fields are, for example, rational numbers or real numbers or the complex numbers. So, if a such a field, if the underlying set is finite, not infinitely big, then we call this field a finite field. I know, very creative. So let's recall this ring that we looked at, so the ring of residual classes modulo n. Within this, the elements that have an inverse are the elements that are co-prime to the modulus n, right? So is it actually possible to have a field of this form, to have a field with numbers modulo n? Well, we would need a set with where every number is co-prime to the modulus, right? And how can we do that? Maybe you have guessed it. This ring of this form, modulo n, is exactly then a field if n is a prime number. Because by definition, you can't factorize a prime number into smaller prime factors, and therefore it doesn't share any prime factors with the numbers smaller than n. It only shares prime factors with multiples of n, which are the zero element. So these prime fields are usually denoted like this, an f for field and an p for the prime number, or sometimes they're called gf for Galois field, but these are equivalent notations. They mean the same concept, they're just different notation. Galois field because Evariste Galois was a famous French mathematician that laid some of the groundwork for modern algebra. So, actually, as it turns out, not only if it's a prime number we have a field, but also powers of prime numbers give us a field. And these fields of this form, with a, with a prime number times something, are usually called extension fields within the, within the literature that we're going to look at. A uh, common form of this are binary fields with the prime number 2 to the power of something. Because the arithmetic in binary fields can be implemented quite efficiently on modern computers.